Shaq is known for always speaking his mind and is not afraid to disrespect other NBA players. Whether it's his Twitter beefs, memes, diss tracks, or his infamous Shaq in a fool moments, Shaq doesn't seem to care about offending and disrespecting other NBA players. Now, before we take a closer look at when Shaq disrespected NBA players, please click the like button if you enjoy the video as it helps the channel grow and subscribe for new videos like this one every week. In his early days in the league, JaVale McGee was featured regularly on Inside the NBA's Shaq in a Fool. Some of the criticism was fair, as young JaVale would often make hilarious dumb plays resulting in turnovers for his team. A few seasons later, JaVale joined the Golden State Warriors and started playing the best basketball of his career. But the second that JaVale made even the slightest mistake, Shaq would again put him on blast during Shaq in a Fool. Now despite his great play for the Warriors, when JaVale saw Shaq disrespecting him again, he went to his Twitter account to hit back. JaVale called Shaq out saying, hey Shaq, get my nuts out of your mouth. And of course, Shaq took this personally. Shaq replied to JaVale saying, now since you want a good team, you want to act like you a player now. Stop it. You'll only be remembered for Shaq in a fool, bumass. Those are some pretty harsh words and Shaq and JaVale continued to go back and forth over Twitter until eventually JaVale's teammate at the time, Kevin Durant, stepped in to defend JaVale. But Shaq didn't take kindly to KD's defense of JaVale and told him to just mind his own business. Things got so bad that eventually Shaq's mom had to step in and convince Shaq to stop disrespecting JaVel McGee. Shaq listened to his mom and promised to never speak JaVel McGee's name again, and so far he's delivered on his promise. Earlier this year, Shaq took shots at Rudy Gobert, which shocked everyone. However, Shaq's beef with Gobert actually started over two years ago in 2019. Rudy was seen crying during an interview after being snubbed from the All-Star game. Shaq made fun of Gobert saying, there's no crying in basketball, Rudy. Man up, get some icy hot on your face. Rudy never responded to Shaq's comments. Maybe he learned from JaVale McGee's mistakes. Shortly afterwards, Shaq went after Rudy again on the All Things Covered podcast. When the top the topic of Rudy Gobert's new contract came up. Rudy had just signed a five-year deal with the Jazz worth $205 million, which is the largest contract extension ever given to a center in the NBA. Rudy's contract is much larger than any of Shaq's when he was in the league, and Shaq took offense to that. It should be an inspiration to all the little kids out there. You average 11 points in the NBA, you can get two of them. <laughs> Rudy responded in a mature, professional manner, and hopefully that's the end of their beef. Shaq and Damian Lillard's beef got so bad that it turned into a rap battle. When Dame appeared on a podcast to promote his new rap album, he had this to say about Shaq. You think you got better music than Shaq? I think I rap better than Shaq. You think so? Instead of taking to his Twitter account to reply, Shaq decided to make a diss track about Dame. The lyrics had lines such as, Take your time to respond, there is no hurry, you'll never be Westbrook, never be Steph Curry. Dame responded to Shaq with his own diss track with lyrics such as It'd be wise to move on Aristotle, cause this is a gimme All the money in the world traded you for a penny Needless to say, Shaq lost this one to Dame His rapping clearly isn't as dominant as his basketball skills once were Shaq and Chuck have disrespected each other a ton during their careers together. Their beef started back in 1999 when Chuck threw a ball at Shaq's head and the two ended up in a fist fight on the court. They seem to have moved past this fight and are now co-hosts on the Inside the NBA show. Although they get along well on the show most of the time, Shaq often takes Chuck's jokes very personally and they'll end up arguing about who was the better player. What do you mean it takes more? <laughs> okay. They just won the championship. First of all, you know nothing about going back to back. I do it. Shaq frequently teases Chuck about never winning a championship ring, and Chuck responds by telling Shaq that he only won because of Kobe and Dwayne Wade. It feels like one of those relationships where the two are always going to be butting heads against each other. When it comes to talking trash and beefing with Shaq, no one is safe. Not current players or NBA legends from the past. In 2015, Shaq posted a photo of the best Lakers and the best Bulls ever, and it was captioned, we would beat them by 50. What do you think? Let me know and don't hold back. Scotty saw this post and got offended. He responded by uploading a photo of him and MJ and captioned it. Sorry Shaq, I don't get caught up in hypotheticals. All I know is we won six, twice the amount you claimed while in LA. Shaq once again needed to have the last word and said that Scotty only won his titles because he was Robin to MJ's Batman. Unfortunately, Shaq always takes these sorts of things way too personally. 
So who do you guys think Shaq has disrespected the most over his career? Let me know in the comments section below. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button as it helps the channel grow and subscribe for new videos like this one every week.